Okay guys, so this is the hair that I'm using. The package looks just like this. Click the link down below, sis. Okay? How convenient it comes with rubber bands. Cause you know we be using the rubber bands to crochet it through. How thoughtful is this? Rubber bands, little hair accessories. Comes with a crochet hook as well. Okay, and they look like this. They're not neat, they're just like kinda messy. So you can get that real cute, like bohemian look. So it looks just like this. And you have your little loop at the top to crochet it through. And in each pack comes 11 twists. So there's a total of 77 twists. And I will be using the Even 24 hour edge control. This is their extreme firm hold and it's in the scent peaches. It smells amazing. And these rubber bands that come with it, they're really, really stretchy rubber bands. And they're like a different texture, so you don't have to worry about like dipping them in oil and stuff. I'm just going to keep doing this all the way up, and I'll be back when I finish. Okay, y'all, so I only completed like the back section and just here in the back, I have a total of 39 sections. Oh, and it took me an hour and a half to do the back of my hair, but I'm going to go ahead and crochet the back end. So take the hair like this so I can put the needle through, push the hook through the rubber band, attach the crochet hair, pull that, pull it through. And then I'm going to pull through both my hair and the crochet hair. Pull it tight like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add all my pieces and then I'm going to come back and twist it. Okay y'all, so I went ahead and crocheted all of the hair in. It looks like a lot because my hair is still out with it. So for my ends, I will be adding the Gorilla Snot because it just has like a stronger hold. And I want to make sure my hair stays inside of the twist. Okay, so, so I'm going to take some of the Gorilla Snot, add that to my hair, take the twist hair, unravel it just a little bit, and I split my actual hair into two, and then twist it till you get to the end of your hair. And as I go down, I'm like pretty much separating the twist. Might need a little bit more gel for the end. See, can't even tell and I didn't have to keep twisting to the end. Okay guys, so I'm ready to start on the front. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull out my edges so I can sleep them. And then I will go through and do my boxes. So I'm gonna start off with jam, just using a small amount, not too much, just enough to hold it because we don't want it to like turn white. And right after I'm going on top with my bomb glue just to set it. All right, and then I'll go in and do my boxes. Okay, y'all, so this side is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and crochet this side in. And on my left side, I twist back. And on my right side, I twist forward. So I'm twisting back away from my face. A little bit more snot. 
And I'm not even unraveling the hair, I'm just twisting it. And I kind of twist it back together like this. And it just stays. Okay y'all, so I only have two more to twist up here. So I'm gonna show you guys on the last two, but everything else is looking really good. I'm going on seven hours and I'm sleepy. So I brush it out. Split it into two. So you wanna have your two pieces and then separate right at the root. So now each end get a piece of the twist and this is all that I'm, I'm twisting the hairs just this much and then I take my hands back to the top and on the right side I twist towards my face so I'm just twisting down I don't have to do any extra type like turn as I twist no you just twist all the way till you get to the end of your hair take a little bit more of the gorilla snot for the ends keep twisting it and as you can see this little section gets smaller so just keep twisting and if as you twist you're like opening up the hair to unravel to twist it back up and ta-da no hair out or anything like that sis and it's gonna stay because we're using gorilla snot one more time And then I just kind of pull the hair to get that little bubble out. And order Zada. And now I'm all done. And it is 6.09. And I started at like 11.09. So yeah, it's like exactly 7 hours. I got some little hair accessories. I'm going to add that. But maybe later because I'm sleepy. Really cute. Nice and neat. Half of the time. We didn't have to twist all the way down. Really simple and easy. Okay, y'all, so my hair is all done. Looks real cute. Nice and curly. I went to the store, y'all, and I got stopped like five times in Walmart. I'm not kidding you. Five times. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair growth oil. You can go to my website, www.simplycloud9.com to purchase, and just put that all in my scalp just to make sure everything is moisturized and plus I didn't add any moisture when I was doing my style or even to my ends like the cream I usually do because I just wanted to make sure my ends stay in so it is the next day for me doing my hair and bruh look at these edges still there still slaying have not touched them up or anything look at my hair you see the texture of the hair really cute And this is in 20 inches. I have a total of 71 like braids or twists in my hair. I use six and a half packs and you guys like my nails. Click the link down below so you can see how I did them. Super cute and trendy. And you guys check out my lashes. My lashes are from Sharp Lash. Amazing. My girl hooked me up with some lashes. So look at all the beautiful lashes that I have. To show you guys throughout the course of like the next couple of videos. See my lashes? Amazing. Beautiful. And make sure you click the link down below. They are amazing sharp lashes. Look at these. Amazing. But yeah.